What's up, y'all? It's Big Bro here with a video on how to make this little doohickey. It's a um, camera mount for when you're doing speed arts or GoPro videos and whatnot. Um, mine will be specified specifically for my GoPro, so um, the dimensions on all of these corners will be dependent on that. Um, going over the dimensions, this side piece here is um, going to correspond to how big your area is going to be. So first off, if you're using a cutting mat like I am, you're going to want to measure that out and make sure that all of your pieces are the right size. Um, the top pieces are going to um, also correspond to the side pieces and then the length is also going to depend on how wide. So for me it ended up being uh, 24 or 5 inches. And um, then the width was I think something like 19 inches. So you're going to write in a, basically copy this down and then write it out before you start cutting because uh, you can always trim but you can never uh, get back that PVC pipe. So Again, 25 inches, 19 inches for me. Uh, for you, it's obviously going to be different. So um, once you have it written down, then you're going to want to find out uh, this top piece. And it's going to depend on what type of camera you have. So for me, uh, using a GoPro, I have a wider field of view. So I might have to trim it up a little bit once I'm finished. And uh, to find out whether or not you're going to need to, you're just going to do a practice recording and uh, see if it over uh, stretches your field and if you see more than where you're at. Uh, that top piece there is just going to be half of your depth or uh, length, rather, um, which is the 19 inches for me. So uh, it'll come out to be like nine and a half inches. Uh, however, if you're using a GoPro mount or something of the sort, then you might have to uh, make it a little bit shorter. So again, that long piece there, that is just going to be half of the 25 inches. So I just split it right in half. And um, from there, I just used a T hook and connected it to that long center piece, which is obviously going to be dependent. However, you might want to keep it at like 10 or 11 inches depending on what type of camera and then trim it from there. Um, those side pieces there, uh, you just want to make sure that they're the same length. And uh, for this side piece over here, I just took a, a T connector and just split it right down the center or wherever I wanted it and connected it there. That way I can hold pens, uh, knives, whatever I want. Um, so again, you're just going to uh, make sure that they're all equal to each other and that you have all of your edges set. And then once you get it put together, just hook it on top like so and see how the field of view looks. Uh, the center of the screen should be the center of the board. So if it's not, you're going to want to adjust accordingly. Um, and also when doing this, you're going to want to make sure that you're recording upside down because um, otherwise it'll turn out like so. Uh, I am writing right side up. However, uh, it is turning out Excuse me, turning out upside down. Um, so again, you're either going to want to adjust that in your editor or um, change that up on your camera, like the GoPro has the settings to do. Um, other than that, you're going to want to make sure that the distance from your uh, recording area is right so that you are not getting too close to it and you're not capturing the full uh, drawing or you're too far away from it and you're capturing more than what you're wanting. Um, so for this top piece, I'm just going to show you a little technique that I used. It's basically just a PVC pipe with the GoPro mount, but um, although it was sticky, I really found it not to be sturdy enough. So I just took some uh, hot glue and uh, just did it around all of these edges and uh, really filled it up quite a bit. But uh, to make sure that it wasn't going to overflow and get all nasty, um, I just took a ice cube and rubbed it around the edges before it could drip down. That way it wouldn't... Um, you know, it would stay uniform and uh, stay around that PVC pipe and the uh, little mount also. So I think that about does it for the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And again, thank you for watching.